Hello, this is Running Robert, and today we are playing Backbone. This is a game by Eggnut, uh, independent developer, first game on Steam. Uh, they did the demo of it during the demo time, and through that I was able to find uh, the prologue, put it on my wish list. We are going to go ahead and play through this game. This is like a little detective, film noir, you know, future with animals. So you're looking at it it's more kind of like the edgy side of zootopia unfortunately <laughs> so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and we're going to run through the demo or the prologue either one we're looking at and just kind of see how it goes so we're going to start a new game not going to worry about that okay so raccoon in a tub now we're starting <laughs> okay there's phone Okay, so, uh, sorry, missed your call. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Okay. Just enough time to clean up. Okay, so, uh, so basic movement. You need to interact with objects and then A or D or left or right. So let's go ahead and let some, oh, we have the case files. Uh, insurance fraud, lost cars, strange lovers probably should Get rid of these old case files. Okay, so inspect the desk. Uh, I can use the mouse drag and then pick it up. Okay, so I can actually pick that up. That's probably what I need to clean up. And is there anything else that I need to do around here? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Oh, okay. It's going to kind of keep moving around for the moment. We have a living room. I mean, the damn thing stopped working a long time ago. Got to hit Frank up next time. I'm in uh, Fusedale. And when I have extra cash, so never. Oh. Uh, notes on fridge. Call mom. Always important. Buy soap. Always important. Pay bills. Okay. And don't die. That's a pretty good note system. Oop. A photochemicals. Got here. Oh, there we go. Uh, learning. Leaving develop, developments in the sink is a sure road to poisoning. Or a great soup. Okay, we got the window. Already get tired of this view. And now we can place dishes in the sink. I'll probably wash these later. Probably not. Kind of keep walking. And toilet books, the great ape society. Swell toilet read. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. So let's, I think we're pretty much cleaned up. Oh, is there anything else I'm... Uh, might be something I'm missing. Oh, there we go. Objectives. Uh, tidy up before the client arrives. Okay. Is there anything else I was missing? Oh, place chemicals. There we go. Everything knows its proper place. Hmm. Oh, and that must be Mrs. Green. Okay. Let's let her through. Okay, so uh, looks like... Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Loader. We spoke on the phone. Okay, well, that's me. I gather you have a case for me. Uh, Odette will do. I uh, understand this sort of thing is routine. Your line works about my husband, you see. Oh, boy. I'm, I'm going to go with them. Uh, I'm listening. Uh, he just hasn't been himself lately. Getting home at odd hours, making weird excuses. Uh, I don't know if you tried talking to him about it. Yes, but he gets... Difficult, like it's my fault. I just need you to know if you can get uh, proof of his infidelity. I need it for the court. Ooh. Uh, let's see, court, you filing for divorce. That's right. And above all else, I need something damning enough that uh, custody won't be a, won't be a question. Uh, your husband, he will want the kids? I can't take that chance anymore. Uh, okay, wow. Well, this game is getting right into it, isn't it? Uh, but has he said or done something to make you think he would? Uh, this is a separate issue. I really don't want to dig up right now. Oof. Uh, it, it's the kids. Uh, I really need every edge I can get. He has threatened to take them, yes. Daisy and Elliot shouldn't have to go through all this. I'm doing what it takes to protect their future. No, oh, this, is, this is definitely not your fault. I know you're right. 
Is he aggressive? Not physically, but he has a mean temper, unpredictable. What makes you so certain he's having an affair? Uh, he was always a private kind of man. Now he started getting home late, missing work, and smelling funny. Uh, what kind of smell? Like perfume and not mine, alcohol smoke, and something uh, pungent. A kind of herbal stink. Okay, he's skipping work. Uh, I've had calls from boss wondering if he was sick. I even covered for him. I'm so fed up with this. And you caught him lying? Uh, well, he's just so bad at it. He wasn't much of a liar when he first met. Or at least, I thought so. How late are we talking? Way past the kids' dinner time. I asked what he's doing. It didn't go well. Okay, let's do this. I need a picture and some information about his routine. Okay, sure, you know. What does he look like? Um... Here's the photo. He's an otter, of course, a little stockier than you. Okay. He wears glasses, square ones, and his wedding band, as far as I know. And he carries a black briefcase to and from work. Where did I find him? Usually at work or at home. He never stops anywhere, but now it's all the time. Uh, have you met all of his friends? No, but he mentioned a few guys. To say they get together after work. What's his full name? Uh, Jeremy Green. I think people at work call him Jess. How would I pick him up the crowd? He wears a suit. To work, I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. Where does he work? At the Wolf Bank on Granville. I'll write the address down for you. That should be enough. It's just a matter of the fee. I can give you 100 now and 50 when you're done. Will that suffice? Yes. It's not just my life, friend. This I can only afford one shot. What assurance does me have that you're the right guy for the job? Uh, you know what? I care about my clients. Your problems are my problems. Don't let me down, Mr. Lo Loader. I trust you with my life. Of course, I'll get right on it, and I'll call you later tonight. Okay. So up there, you got a new objective. If we press tab, it's uh, find Jeremy Green and evidence of infidelity. Start. He works at the Wolf Bank. So up, oh, and that's just the, the detective menu. Okay. So let's let's head to Granville. Let's see what we can find. And this is. Ooh, this is a shady spot. Uh, Granville smells like wet concrete, overpriced food, and puke. My kind of battleground. <laughs> okay, uh, I guess we can talk to Squirrel. Yo, old man. All right, take a look at this photo. Have you seen this guy around? Nah, man. Even if I would, why would I tell you? Uh, yeah, how's your day going? Just hanging in there. What you up to? I can say I'm just hanging too. From my hang to yours, peace, brother. Okay. Well, that was easy enough. Uh, let's see. Furman's one silver tongue devil of a mountain lion. When I go crazy and kill someone, I hope I can afford him. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to kind of... Well, I got some posters going on here. Uh, the day I bought a bike, the life of a young handsome ape turns to shambles when he crosses path with a dangerous man, and he does it on his bike. Okay. That's some... Oh, uh, we can see... Got citizen name. Um, I think that's two possums. That's, that's some artwork. Okay. And, okay. Some of these names are... Yeah. Ah, is, is Mr. Howie. What's up? What's a rascal like you up to this fine unit? Uh, hey, I'm looking for somebody. You got a minute? Yeah, I've had a terrible memory for faces. But, hey, you want to hear a great story? Sure. So my wife, wifey, Estrella, and I got a second lad on the way. Oh, congratulations. Thanks. He's a big one, too. I still have his round as a watermelon. So I tell her, Ha, huh, woman, you get any bigger, you won't be in a fit in the trunk of the car. Ha, huh. well, yep. Um, and so, ha, ha, she just turns me to the eye of the killer and says, Get me the bread, honey. Okay. Uh, women, mysterious creatures, they love bread. I guess he's a beaver? Looks like a beaver. So we break the news to our boy, uh, Victor, our son. You can have a bro soon. He's like, oh, no, a bro? What's that? What was it? They tell him mom and pop work hard. Just ah, mom and pop worked hard. So the apes like you have another baby. Baby boy, just like you. That's a rare chance for sure. Sure it is. Uh, Victor, poor soul, starts laughing. Oh, daddy, you're going to be so happy with me and baby bro. We'll play all the time. And I said, sure, son. But here's the catch. Oh, there's a catch. Wow, this is a story. You and mom are going to have to look after him because two baby means zero daddies. Because daddy has to work four shifts now instead of two. Oh, well, that got depressing. I'll manage to manage. Now, what'd you, 
I'll manage, I'll manage. Now, what did you say you were doing here? I'm looking for a guy. Here's a picture. Yeah, I seen him. Um, Bear of laughs. Kind of funny. Smells really bad. Took him back from the bite a couple of times. Okay, do you ever talk? Did you mention anything that seems strange? Nah, he was too wasted to talk most time. His smell did enough talk for both of us. Uh, oh, he smelled. Of exactly what? Uh, you know, poopy kind of smells. Stale booze and perfume herbs. Awful, awful stuff. Any idea where he is now? Yes, the bite is a, is a good as guessing. It. It's a goopy place, though. Thanks. All right, man. That was, that was a good conversation. Okay. What we got? Uh, they did great job restoring the Vogue. If people watch more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so bad. So, so I got... I'm looking up the things up there. We got The Day I Bought a Bike, Sis in Maine, Johnny and John, uh, The Great Story. Okay, we got some stuff up there. So let's just keep on walking up the line. We got more posters. Uh, Ed Simmons is the rising jazz star. See her tonight only at the bike. Neat. Should I check it out once I'm done with the case? Uh, there's the Wolf Bank. Okay, Wolf Bank is where Green works. Okay. Let's close. So let's let's talk to the banker. Okay, let's see what we got. Yeah. Uh, you folks work at the Wolf Bank, right? Yep. Why? Uh, take a look at this photo. Have you seen this man lately? Well, you know what? Is Jez around? Uh, and who are you? Oh, so you know him? That's what old people have looked from everywhere. Private detective. Let's go private detective. What did the ass at do? Uh, nothing I want to talk to him. What, he beat up his wife? He beat up his wife? Why do you think he did? Well, that lizard... That lizard was eating his brains out for a while now. That lizard... Okay, it must be his wife. Okay. You know who he is right now? Uh, I don't give up about your questions, and I sure as hell don't talk to cops. Get lost. I'm not a cop, and a PI stands for a private investigator. Hey, Jerem, don't get excited, or are you looking for trouble? Uh, are you? Because I could give it to you. <laughs> Listen, Lumpy, better split before I wash your face right off. Truisin' for a bruising? <laughs> Cut the grass. Mm, I don't think I can say that. Uh, what do you think, boy? Should we give this one a good beating? Your one hip cap got the guts to face me without the boys. You better get ready, jerk. I'm about to give you a effing ticket across the wall. Yeah, you're caught. <laughs> awesome. okay, he looks like he's a cat. Yep. You're not worth it. Come on, boys. This uh, striper will find his end soon enough. Okay, well, that didn't go so well. Okay, so. Hmm. This is. Okay, this is the bite. Not quite in with the fence crowd. Thankfully, I'm a charming boy. Well, let's see if we can get in. No entrance for raccoons. Goodbye. Oof. Okay. Um, I'm sure it can arrange something. What do you need? Get get me a personal invitation signed by the great apes, and I'll let you in. Deal. Okay. How do, how do I do that? Okay, I can oh, hold shift to run if I want. Oh, oh, let's go into the alley. This looks pleasant. Oh, wait, we got something. Larry, well, I'll be damned. Is that you? Larry, uh, it's me. It's been too long. What's up, old man? Uh, same old... Uh, so it looks like we're friends, so we can... Old, you old rascal. <laughs> All right, that's fair. Plus, these rags don't help my appearance any. I didn't expect to see you here, to be honest. Well, who really expects to see anything of note in the back alley? What's going on? What are you up to? I'm still a private detective. I'm happy with my own gig. Kind of went downhill for a while. So you live here now? Live? Have you seen the tough ground? He, I live at the bridge now. It's not as bad as sound, I guess. I, I'm so sorry, Larry. Can I help in any way? Uh, not really. Thank you, though. Now, what's your deal? Have you seen an otter around? Okay. Uh, this guy seems like a... F let's, let's... Let's go... Nothing serious. He just messed up his merits. Eh. Like they do. What's he like? Uh, let's see. He's about my height. Chubby. Wears a green hat. Haven't seen him. Let me know if you need anything. I'm often here to talk to people. I've got to leave, but the bouncer won't let me into the bite. Tough break. I'm really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. You say the guy is an otter? That's weird. Uh, what you could ask... Do is 
Ask Johnny. He knows better than me. Who's Johnny? Squirrel kid with the leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't entirely know what his deal with the bite is, but they're chummy. Uh, what sort of stuff does Johnny push? You know, typically stuff hype and satterfang. Oh, and get this. He started rolling out something called monkey butt. Who comes up with these names? They don't want to do... <laughs> if It's like they don't want to do drugs, and you think this guy, Johnny, will help? Might take some convincing, but he's chill. I've seen him help people cut mine. His clients, I think. What do you know about the bike? Owners of Bloodsworth. So a lot of uh, float rumors about the whole ordeal. Bloodworth, the bear family? Prime family. He had a lot of friends in high places. Then the head of the family up and dies and shifts and hits the fan. Ear ended up dead too in the aftermath. And the current owner's relative? Yeah, she's a cousin or something. Okay, what's she up to? People say she's taking back the whole operation piece by starting with the bite. Okay, I think that's good. Uh, sure, Larry, thanks. Okay, we got... This This guy is... So, can I get no answer from the back? Uh, okay. Oh, there you go. I can run now. Luscious. 1499 for trim. Huh. Okay, let's see. Oh, and I can crouch now, too. Yes, we're. Oh, Howard. I cry and uncrouch right in front of him. I guess you can cry. Okay, Howard, come here, boy. Uh, uh, hi, diary. Hey, little one, what are you up to? Find a job yet? Yes. Really? Just talked to Edna yesterday. She didn't tell me anything. What's. What is it you do? I'm a detective. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. If you'd only cut the... And come on to the force, you know I can arrange that. Or Edna, geez. You know what? Thanks for looking out for me, man. But I'm good. Yeah, yeah. You go now. Call your mom. <laughs> okay. And let's... So we're just keeping on walking. Got a queue out. Uh, old owner still attending a shop. I should say hi before he gets driven out by the... Yuri Mart next door. Can... Oh, we got the Mackenzie sent rich people clothes. One sock is more expensive than my whole outfit. Okay, so we're... Oh, let's see. We got Foxy Burger. Uh, once I got punched by a guy in a fedora who then puked all of my new coat. I uh, had the memories this place brings. Oh, garbage bin. What we got? I'll uh, see. Socks take away a ticket to the bite. Okay. And we got Bo. Is there anything else after Bo? There is nothing else after Bo. Okay, so what, what we got, Bo? You know, good day to you, friend. Fancy some news? Uh, for a half loon, you can read them all about the eyes. All right, here you go. What's the headline? Front page, Great Ape Parade preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. Thanks, man. Okay. So let's, let's, we're going to run back to um, Johnny. I think he's a squirrel up there, so. Like I said, they did a pretty, like, uh, the art style of this game. If you've just been kind of looking at the top, like, it's just, like, a lot of details. Like, people up in the windows, you can see a guy smoking. Like, just some, a lot of the details they have is just uh, tremendous for this game. So, like I said, I'm I'm looking forward to it when it comes out. Okay, so we're running all the way back to my cat. That's a squirrel. Okay, so let's go and talk to him. Yo, old man, are you Johnny? I am. Who's asking? Uh, yeah, okay. Fitting name for a uh, grand student trench coat. What do you need? I need to get into the bite. I bet you do, pal, but why should I care? Heard they sell a monkey butt through you. Fuck. Uh, whoops, didn't mean to say that. Uh, where'd you get that stupid idea from, Striper? It goes around. Will you help me out? Look, old man, you can handle that stuff even if you did have it. All right, let's see. Uh, the square things. Let's see. Hey, kid, just get me the bite, will ya? What's in for Johnny? You know, okay, if I'm a detective, my mark's at the bite. API isn't a bad guy to have you owe in a favor. Let's see. Um, I, prove it, punk. I might consider you turning after cops to help me out. Look at me. I'm a raccoon in a trench coat. Do you think... I'd ask you if I was serious. 
Oh, you have to trust me, Johnny. I'll scratch your back and you're scratching mine. Never heard of that. I don't trust them, let alone the trench coats. Uh, why'd you say that? You don't even know me. I don't know. I don't need to know you, you're kind. Wow. Uh, wow, forgive me if my existence somehow offends you. Oh, you're pathetic. Would you get lost? Your mother... Yeah, wow. There's a lot of cussing in this game. Let's remember that. Yes, yes. I really do need the help. Oh, you're gross and weird. I'll... I'll let I'll get you in, but you have to get, but you have got to leave me alone. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so now we can go back to the bite. Let's get on in. Oh, there's my boy Johnny. Look at that. What you want? Here's <laughs> a giant another client for us to entertain, huh? Starp, you can come in. Okay. Boom. There we go. Okay. Jazz, alcohol, beautiful canine ladies, all a little too high end for my taste. Oh, is there, oh there's a couple of people to, to chat with here. Um, we're just gonna we're, we're, we're gonna do the scene first. Okay. Oh, let's let's start from the beginning. Let's do the same thing. We got what do we got? We got like fox. So this is a fox. I mean, yeah. Okay. Well, you're unusual. Oh, and I like the background music for this too. Okay, I'll take that as a compliment. As you were though, it's just an observation. Renee Wilson. Let's go with Howard Loader. Hmm, that's a fake name. You're too young for a Howard. Maybe you're giving up fake names and projecting. Ah, well, I'm Howard tonight. I like it. Delightful. Ever got tricked by a raccoon before? You're my first. Let's celebrate sometime. Take my card. Investigative journalist. It's a living, usually. It was lovely to meet you. I'll see you around. Let me, have you seen this otter gentleman tonight? No, but I only just sat down a minute ago. Okay, I'm gonna say, hey, it was lovely to meet ya. Yeah, I, I like the music. Next, just makes it relax, kind of what you expect. Hey there, are you here for Edna Simmons' show? That's right, she was at the bite. That must be her up there. I'm ha so happy to see her live. Haven't heard her though. Has a nice sound. I'm um, probably a bit biased, but yeah, she's great. You sound like a big fan. I got a recorder, record player just for her. She, she's mostly all I listen to. This first time you catch her live? Yeah, my mom doesn't approve of this place. Had to do a bit of sneaking to be in here. It's Colby. I'll come if you don't mind me asking. Eh, I don't think she stepped in the bar in her life. This place is about ten times sleazier in her head. <laughs> Sounds like it was worth it. It's good music. Huh. Well, you can only be so sure if you stay for the whole show. I wish I could stay. Say, have you seen this otter gentleman? Here's a photo. Let me see. I think I saw something like that walk in. I uh, did the briefcase. Yeah, and yes, and so is the tie. I thought it was funny. You see where he went. I saw him come in and talk to the Afghan lady in the jade-colored dress. Did he have briefcase? I'm not sure. Okay, so enjoy the cell. Okay, we're getting somewhere. So he's here. Let's talk to Audrey. Isn't this too dreamy? Excuse me? God, I love the music. I'm looking for a... F uh, let's see, you want to dance? Nope. Uh, can you at least answer a couple questions? Not really, leave me alone. Okay, that did not work. Let's, let's talk to Ingrid. Hell there, honey. To what do I owe the pleasure? Just looking for a friend. Sweetheart, I got plenty of friends already. Ha, huh, I mean, someone I know. He wears square-shaped glasses. I'm not seeing anyone with that kind of eyewear tonight, hon. Also, he's an otter. Let's, let's go. No otters tonight. And I guess he's late. Has your friend been here before? Sure. The bite on Grivel. That's what he told me. Sounds like it's your first time. How are you finding the, our little hole in the wall? I'm impressed. Didn't think it would be so tasteful. You'll get used to it anyways. 
While you wait for your friend, let's go get a drink at the bar or find a table and let Kira take care of you. Thank you. Do you work here? Because otherwise, I'm sorry I made you my tour guide. You really are. I'm not sure what she likes. Maybe I think a canine? Like, maybe. All right. Uh, you sure are new here, huh? I'm part of the Bite family. You've an air of a hostess about you, but you have not greeted anyone. I'm a hostess of sorts, but I don't work for the bar. Okay. I know what she is now. I'm very coy. Can't a girl have her secrets? I'll tell you this. Only our regulars get to find out more. My theory is here that you're to bewitch the new clientele. Me? Oh my. You're deduced the full extent of my talents. <laughs> oh, I'm sure there's more than me, CI. I'll be back soon. Okay. So we're almost, I think, done. We're going to talk to Miss... She is a rat. You look a little lost. I'm exactly where I need to be. How confident? I don't recognize you. Not a troublemaker, are we? No, let's, let's try something new for a change. How is that working out? Pretty well. I'm enjoying the conversation, at least. The feeling is mutual, so whom do I owe the pleasure? Ladies first. Ah, so you'd like to be the one in control. I can assure you that that won't work in our relationship. Private investigator. At your service, ma'am. How exciting are you here on business? I'm solving a case and I ended up here following a lead. Perhaps you can answer a couple questions. I don't think so. I would have I would have to ask you to leave. Okay, should I make an appointment next time? Don't worry, Mr. Lord. I'm sure we'll be seeing each other again. Okay, that. Well. That did not work. And I got kicked out. Eh, I've been kicked out of better places. Or worse. Okay, so... Uh, we already ran this. We kind of know what to do a little bit here. So... Oh, we got some new people going on here. Hold on. So let's, let's go talk to Larry. How'd it go? Did you find him? I got kicked out. Oh, hard. How'd you manage that? I think I poked the bear. The bouncer? I met uh, Clarissa Bloodworth. Oh, man, what'd you do? If she's upset, you better get used to your watching it back. I need to find another way in. Now, hold up. You said you didn't get into cases like this anymore. And I told... And you told me you had no first experience with monkey, but people don't change, Larry. Oh, that's that's, that's got me. It doesn't matter. I need to get in. Larry, what if it is the case? Something is wrong, and I need to find out. Geez, I'd recommend against it, but you do you. So any other ways in? All right, the truck over there just uh, just arrived, and some fellow entered through the back door. I heard voices from the roof, so they might have a door up there. Let's go to the roof. Well, most of the old buildings have one. Problem is how do you can get to the roof. Is there a fire escape? Nah, no fire escape. The bite's too high, and any smaller structures, you'd have to climb first. Okay, press stand. Yep. Whoa there. That could work. Start with a press stand and go to Mackenzie and proceed along the roofs. But you should know that bow is kind of, um... Yeah. <laughs> it's the most accurate description I've heard in my life. You're welcome. Anyways, I suggest talking to him and see if he'd be up for it. Okay. We're going to do that. And then, to just get a little bit more story, we're going to talk to Florence. What you looking at? Just need to get into that building, uh huh? It's evil, you know. You're better off staying away. I know, but I have to go in anyways. Why? What'd they do? I mean, it's a a rabbit. I should introduce myself. I'm a detective. Detective, I don't understand. Maybe we can help each other. How? I need to find a way into that building. Can you help? Yeah. Really aiming to get into that ditch. Yeah, you know how. Maybe, I mean, not really. I tried to code the door, but filthy slugs won't let me. I just want to talk to her. Who are you trying to talk to? It's my daughter. She's in that filthy... And I've been coming for days, but they say they won't let me talk to her. I'm a mother, dang it. What's she doing in there? Kid decided she was going to make it all on her own, landing herself in a whorehouse. Stupid. Oh, and they drugging her. I know it. They won't let her see her own mother, my poor baby. I'll keep an eye out for her. If I get in, what does she look like? Pray for her name, Rosie. 
No, name's Rose. Drives her nuts when I call it Rosie. She just turned 20 C. Didn't want to be a kid anymore. Oh, if they hurt a single whisker on my baby's face, I'm sure going to burn this ditch to the ground. Are you so sure she's in there? She's my baby. I know where she is. I can sense it. So she's been visiting there before? Told me she was a waitressing liar. I asked her on. This ditch is a filthy drug den for... Whore. Whores. Liar. Uh, I'll do my best to find her. Thank you. Tell her I'm waiting outside. They haven't told her for sure. Uh, so we're gonna go try to find a way in. Okay, so we're gonna... We could we could break into the truck. We haven't done that way. We're gonna go the other way. So at least there's a lot of other replayability depending on how you want to do just the demo. So let's... Uh, that's... That probably was a little bit late. We'll close that out. Okay, so I need to... Talk to Bo. Don't mind me, I just need to climb your stand. <laughs> I'm honest. Uh, absolutely not. Do you know how much time and effort it takes to keep the stand in good conditions? Come on, Bo, I need it for the work. You're working on one of them cases. I don't want to be involved. It's not decent. And why in the fringe would you need to climb the press stand anyway? Come on, Bo. I just need your help, man. Now they mentioned that maybe you could do something to help me out with the little issue I'm having. I'm almost afraid to ask, but what do you have? I need that PETA hawker, the one with the seeds off Granville. Can you do that? I must have ran past them. I didn't know some the kid by the clothing store. Yeah, that's one. Them hawkers set up here nearly every night. And why does it bother you? Uh, they don't worry about bills or allowances. You see, this is what they can afford to sell cheap, undercut honest businessmen like myself. Criminals. Hawkers, you know, peddlers. They haul their rickety stands around and collect all the profit with narrow primer. The police booth right there. I tried reporting them. By the time the officers get there, they're already gone. Okay. You know what? I need that. I, he needs him gone. You know what? Let's do it. Let's go back. We're going to get rid of him. Now, there's a lot of people moving through this street today. It's a... Okay, so this guy right here. I must have missed him. Sid. Feeling peckers? I've got sweet and savory, and you can mix and match. Make your own trail mix. How about it? Listen, I got a strange favor to ask you. Okay. Could you leave Granville at least for tonight? I'd rather not. Thing is, Granville's great sale spot this time of the night. You've got a place on in Granville where you can set up shop? Sure, one of the advantages of Sung is I can move around. I need you to roll on somewhere else. Wait, why? Okay, let, you know what? Let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. So I hate to do this, but Bo from the press stand wants you gone. Of course he does. He's fond of giving me a piece of his mind, you know. Well, screw him, and you know what? Why are you running his errands? Truth is, I need something from him. That's what we got. What do you need from us? I need access to the Bites rooftop so I can climb. I am a little too honest. That doesn't explain anything. Why are you trying to get to the rooftop? Doesn't the building have a roof rooftop door? It's a long story. I'd appreciate for the help. Oh boy, I don't like this going. Old stash, the press stand hates my guts. You know, I'm very sorry I wouldn't ask if it was important. This guy seems like he's stand-up. So everyone's got something important. This is my life, so you know. My job depends on it. Uh, so you want to give me a whole night's worth of work so you can do yourself? Why should I help you? I can't tell you. It's my strictly line of work information. So I can't know even though you're asking for help. How's that friend square? It's not fair, but that's all I have right now. I'll tell you about it later. Ugh. And you want me gone for how long? Just tonight. Cool. Thanks, kid. You know what? That kid, that's a good kid right there. Okay, so let's go back to Bo. We got rid of this. Bo, he gone. I scared him off. Don't think he'll be back for a while. How'd you do it? I just asked for help, and he agreed he's a good kid. Agreed. He was most likely lying, you know, and he'll be back tomorrow. That's not what I wanted. You're useless. Hey, get him off Granville. I did what you asked. Oh, go on. Do whatever you want. Don't mind if I do. So, let's start climbing. Okay. And then, yeah. I'm the king of the world. Take it, Foxy Parker. Let's see. Get, get the climbing going. Wow, that's a view. All right, we're 
down. So we're just kind of climbing up. <laughs> climbing up this roof. Okay. Wish I could just stay here. If only the pigeons would accept me as one of their own. Oh, hey. You know what? We're at the bite. You better be in there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see this. Oh, it's got a teapot. Parsley brew, you know, as... Also known as... Yeah, the bite's definitely a brothel. Okay. Let's inspect the smear. What do we have going on here? Can I move? Uh, taking time off. Bro, give me a call. I'll miss you. Darling, could you use it? Take a minute to clean up. Oh, I just picked up whatever that was. Okay. I don't see anything else. Let's see, mirror table. A note, some honey for your tea. Okay. Okay, so I got a crutch to hide. Enemies can't hear you when you crutch behind dark objects. So hold on. Let's, I guess we gotta. There we go. So I guess I'm. I guess I'm hidden now for a little bit. Oh, and there comes a rat. We must be in one of those rooms. I have to careful not to get caught. So we can go ahead and then there's some obviously some stuff going in. There's some drug doing. Alright, I guess that's as far. I had the door I could go back there, so let's Make sure we hide in the shadows. I think I'm in the shadows enough. Okay. Private room. I missed him. He must have been here. I can smell that monkey butt. Maybe he left something behind that can help. Got a green hat. Yep, so he's here. Herbs. That must be, to be honest, I imagine something nastier than herbs, but, ooh, it stinks. Well, okay, so we got this painting. A green tie is stuck behind the frame. What if I budget? Well, what the? A secret lift and green went in there. I wonder what's on the other side. Let's find out. Might as well just take a shot, get in there and press the button, find the guy, and maybe something more exciting. This club is definitely hiding something. Okay, so we're in. We are in and we're here now. Lift. The controls are stuck. He can't go. Okay, so he's stuck. Freezer. Green wanted an ice cream. Greg, if you're going to wipe. I... The door closed, but the hatch is wide open. Wait, so there's a little. Okay, and I know from a little experience. How to do this part. So let's, uh, we're going to do the kitchen. Kitchen. Wanted to order a large pizza, pineapple on top. Wonderful. Pineapple pizza. Are you crazy? Wait, don't go anywhere. Okay, so let's, we can go ahead and move through here. This took me a little bit of time to find when I was doing it. Like I said, I'm hiding. Let's. There you go. Yep, we don't need that other mixer. We're just going to keep on moving. Okay, locker. Uh, no sign of the otter. The code lock. Don't know it yet. Oh, don't know it yet. Freight. A lift needs a turnkey. Don't have that. Note. Greg, keep turnkey downstairs by your station. Okay, so let's inspect the locker. All right. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. We got all this stuff going on. What do we have going on? Okay. Pictures and... Uh-huh. Okay, so we got a code. Got a code going on right here. Um. Hmm. So I need a square. Hold on. 
So I need a square. That would be a square if it matches up. Yes. So zero. A circle is next. This. Nope. Let's just keep that right there. Circle. There we go. That's a four. I bet this one goes here. There's a diamond. That's a one. And oh, what's the last picture? Five. Okay, so we got uh, O, four, five, one. Oh, four, five, one. In. There we go. Okay. Wow, it's really dark in here. Anything going on? Anything going on? Nope, nothing. Oh. And we're to a door. Let's get... Oh. That's a dead body. Green's dead. Oh boy, what have I gotten myself into? Oh, if someone's hiding, hide quick. Uh, oh, okay. Well, that little hiding icon there. Those are the cats. Hmm. Oh. Greg's here. No, I'm still working on the cut. Oh, okay, coming. Oh. Okay, yeah, he is, um... Yep. Oh, there's a key. The turnkey. Maybe I'll make it out alive. Jeez. Even you didn't deserve this. Nobody does. Okay, so let's... Oh. Got packages. Silver order, bite food, LCC to Starling Cider Limited. Okay, so let's kind of make our way around. Uh, I think we're just going to be going back. Yep. Okay, I can actually use this lift now. Let me use that lift because I got the, turn the key for it. And nothing out that way. And escape. And I'm out. And I'm going to be sick. I did see a dead body. There you have it. There is the prologue. Like I said, it's... I I played through it. I am ex looking forward to this game so much now. So it's on the wish list. I think it's a 2021 release. Um, but yeah, just... Uh, all together, like I said, I think they did a great little bit to just get you into the story. Yeah. So, um, we're going to be looking for it. Uh, comments in the comments below will kind of give you the, uh, the prologue website where you can play it for free. Play that first chapter. Uh, I walked through in about 45 minutes. I did not do it all. There's still other stuff that I could do uh, when doing it. So you can probably play through it, use the truck as the entrance, see how that goes and everything like that, get more of the story. But hey, thank you guys for staying through this entire time, and I hope you have a good day.